Hi everyone, I'm Brandon Hall and I'm with Ontario Equestrian as their Director of Marketing and Communications. On a typical work day, I, I think uh, when you work in an organization as small as Ontario Equestrian, we're a small but mighty staff of seven. Uh, it's an ever-changing day, so the role itself has to come with someone who can be adaptable and be able to kind of give and take with whatever the day requires of you. So um, typically it's anything that comes out of OE, whether it's a visual presence or uh, communication content, it, it all kind of comes through our department. So if it's a program that's being launched or we're trying to get participation uh, with a coaching education component, uh, everything kind of has a, a pulse through the marketing communications world. So I'm lucky enough to get a really good idea and uh, feel of what everyone's doing on the staff of OE. I would say the biggest characteristics or, or, or traits that are required for this role would be, again, uh, adaptability, flexibility, uh, patience, because you could be working on a project that maybe you're really passionate about or you've just put a lot of hours in and it could be tabled for months or even years. Uh, another big one would be comfort with speaking uh, in a group or privately one on one uh, and, and managing a, a group of people to get to an end result. And again, those things could take days, months or years to get to that result. And uh, patience plays a big part of it, as well as uh, creativity. I think it's a job that you need to have passion and have that extend to a creative component so that you're, you're being seen in a very busy industry and people are not only just seeing a, a brand presence or a visual that grabs attention, but also the way that you communicate as well. Some of the challenges of the role would be, for me personally, trying to create uh, opportunities and benefits to uh, a community and an industry that has so many levels to it and so many interests, meaning not just disciplines that you can participate in with your horse, but other activities as well. And the degree in which you want to uh, either be involved in this industry, if you want to be a coach, if you want to be an official, if you just want to ride your horse once a week or even once a month in a backyard, trail ride with friends. It's hard to be all things to everyone uh, in this job. And we all know you can't do that well. So sticking to what your mission and your goals are of an organization sometimes doesn't allow you to do all the things you would like to do to support everyone involved. And I think that's the hardest part of, of this job. What led me to become a director of marketing communications was a passion for animals. And I got a very early opportunity to help open a referral and general practice uh, emergency uh, vet hospital. So uh, getting a taste of knowing what visuals, what brand, what identity you wanted to have to reflect the type of business you were opening or starting really struck a chord with me, but having that aligned with helping animals, getting them happier and healthier and back to their homes. That really made me realize that if you can find a passion, and for me, animals are a passion, and align that with a profession that um, kind of marries the two, you get this light within you that forces you to work harder, try harder, uh, learn more, and it puts you in contact with other people with similar interests. So for me, it would start getting that opportunity uh, at that small animal referral emergency hospital. And then of course, an opportunity came with OE to join them, which was 10 years ago. So um, find your passion and uh, take that, uh, that leap into a career that aligns with your passion and, and you'll be amazed at what you can do. I would say the best advice that I received um, when I was in school trying to figure out what I'm going to do for the rest of my life was find something that is meaningful for you. Again, for me, animals were a passion of mine, but I wasn't sure what that actually meant in terms of a career that pays the bills, gives me uh, an outlet, um, 
you know, that passion that gets you from an entry level position to something that's going to give you a meaningful career. And I think when you truly find that passion, you will find opportunities within an industry of that passion that gives you a fulfilling career and you work harder. You are connected with people that hopefully support you and see opportunity within you. And it just gets you from an entry level spot to a job that maybe you created yourself without even knowing just because of the passion that you're showing. So the biggest advice I can give, and if, if anyone's watching that's high school, college, university, or you're even in a career, but you're feeling a little stuck, is think about the things that bring you the most amount of joy and try and connect those with work opportunities. And then don't be afraid to go for them. Volunteer, join a community group, um, just show up uh, and show people that you're there, you're driven and you're committed. And that I think will be the biggest first step that you can have that steers your career. The most satisfying component of working in equestrian or just the marketing communications role is I think seeing the work that you've produced, uh, specifically marketing communications. It's an opportunity for you to really put your stamp on uh, an industry or a job because you're creating a lot of the visuals or at least um, the tone of the business or the association. So for me to have the opportunity to lead a team of developing and rebranding Ontario Equestrian, that for me is a, a mark that will be around for years to come. And seeing kids or adults wearing an OE hat or not saying OEF anymore because we didn't want that military uh, feel to it. That for me is a is just such a it's such a compliment. It's a, an opportunity that I was trusted with and allowed to have kind of free range with, and to have that be seen when I'm at a horse show or if we're doing rider level testing and uh, people are just participating in sport or or um, just programming that comes along with OE. That is the biggest compliment because it means we're doing something meaningful and people see value in it. And, and what better than that? Thank you very much for tuning in. I am grateful to be a part of your learning and hopefully a, a small part of your journey to inspire you uh, to take that first leap or a next step within uh, your career. Um, thank you very much to Equine Guelph for the opportunity because they truly are uh, a propeller in what is going to help you find that right path.